So as we look out there, according to the Drake equation, as we just discussed, it seems impossible to me that there's not civilizations everywhere. So how do we look at them? This process of SETI. I have to put on my scientist hat and just say, my gut feeling is that dumb life, so to speak, is common. I am a little agnostic about, I, I can see ways in which intelligent civilizations may be sparse. Yeah. But but until you know, we got to go look. It's all it's all armchair armchair astronomy. That's that's, that's from a sort of rigorous scientific yeah. perspective. From yeah. my bro science perspective, it seems again smoking this the aforementioned weed, uh, weed. It's yeah. like they they get get better 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 yeah. better and they right die and kill themselves all somehow. Anyway, so uh, just how do we find them? Yeah. So SETI, search for extraterrestrial technology, is a term that I am not fond of using anymore. I mean, some people in my field are, so I'm sorry folks. Um, but I'm really, what I really like is the idea of techno signatures. Cause I think, you know, clear to me, SETI is the, first of all, intelligence. We're not really looking for intelligence. We're looking for technology. I mean, you know, um, and, and SETI, the classic idea of SETI is the radio telescopes, you know, in contact, Jody Foster with the headphones, that whole thing is still part. It's still active. There's still great things going on with it, but suddenly this whole new window opened up. When we discovered exoplanets, we now found a new way to look for intelligent civilizations or life in general 